My name is Joe Kaiser. I'm, uh, I'm currently in the band Skinless, and I'm um, also in the band Gunther Weasel. We're playing tonight in Clifton Park, New York at the uh, Annihilation Fest. I'm Jason Kaiser. I am currently the vocalist of Origin, and I guess the ex vocalist of Skinless. And I'm at the Gunther Weasel concert at Clifton Park, because where else would you be on a fine Saturday evening such as this? Indeed, so, here we are. Well, I mean, I think we touched on it earlier. I don't know if the cameras are rolling, but we used to basically, I mean, I wouldn't call it a shortcoming, but we used to basically supplement our lack of interview uh, panache with, you know, hardcore wrestling. Well, not me, I mean, it would be, I would luckily be on the stand lines, on the sidelines for those events, like commentating drunkenly. But it would be just power slamming, power bombing people through tables and all that stuff. We wanted, one time power bombed um, Jasmine St. Clair through a table, it was one of the finest moments, yeah, I think. That was good. Uh, during, like, backstage at DSI. The gangbang gang queen, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, we were just bartending, and then she was, it got boring, and I was just like, all right, fuck this. It was just like, bang! Body slammer through a table. It yeah. was awesome. Never, that, that never made the cut never made, never made the light of day. Although, never I feel like problem. it would have been her finest moment. That would have been her finest bang. Most definitely. Yeah, so. Well, I mean, there was a time back in the day. I mean, used to be in another band a while ago. <sighs> Local, local upstate New York band called Skinless. I mean, it's in there for a minute. You know, I didn't really, really want to be at the time. I mean, it was something that I kind of got pressured into. <laughs> you know, got to step in. You know, got to save the day every once in a while. It's in there for a couple, five, six years. You know, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that ended unceremoniously. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so but from that, I mean, unceremoniously in a way that there's no grudges to be held. I mean, I know this is a, I got dragged out here from this wonderful heavy metal concert for some kind of intervention interview, I feel like. I feel like I'm a little cornered here. But I mean, I think it's unnecessary. I think that <laughs> I joined Origin in the way, I was living abroad at the time. I was living overseas and I got an email from John Longstreth, who's been a friend of mine for a long time. Also unceremoniously ex-skinless. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I got an email from him asking me to join. And I was like, man, that was, I felt like the appropriate time for something to move upwards and onwards and do something a little interesting, something new. And you no, know, it's fine that shortly afterwards, Skinless decided to reunite with their original lineup, you know. And, you know, I was, I was fine. They wanted to ride my coattails because the announcement of me joining Origin was big news, headline news, you know. You couldn't get away from it. So I don't mind that it's fine. They can do that, you know. Can, I'd give them a boost. No problem. And then, a couple, you know, Origin did very well. I think we've been quite successful. We're putting out a new album next year on Nuclear Blast Records, which will probably be our finest, most epic album yet. And, you know, with that news, I have some other projects that may be in the works at bigger, awesome things. And with that news, I mean, it's only appropriate as I blow up. I mean, they want to you know, ride the cookie. They want to take the ride. So Skinless is reuniting again, so I'm told. <coughs> and uh, so I find out through the internet, I find out these things. Jason, and, um, clearly <laughs> you, feel, you feel hurt that you're not in the reunited Skinless. I, so I, I just want to tell you, I'm, I'm sorry. It has not. It's, it's a. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I don't know. I love you, bro. That's all hey. I can tell you. I love uh, you, bro. Come here. Oh, I love you. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, see, everything's better now. Sorry. It's all good. But uh, yeah. And I don't know. Do you have any? Honestly, Joe didn't even want me to be in Skillless. <laughs> funny little, so, funny little story. Noah, Noah specifically hired me to Joe's. Uh, Dismissal. <laughs> not exa I mean, that's not exactly how. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I remember it. <laughs> but it turned out to be okay. It was oh, a good five, boy. six years, a very successful run. It was fantastic. In, it was a, really in, a, great. in a, you know, mainstream sense. It was great. We did, we, we did <laughs> amazing things together. <sighs> but uh, yeah, is that, is, that, is that an appropriate uh, sequence of events? I'd say so. <laughs> Uh, we just want to play some fest, we want to drink some beer, we want to maybe write some tunes, I don't know, we'll see what happens, you know. We're just, you know, metal dudes, just want to keep it metal, bro, you know. Oh, sorry. There are fests to be played, I mean. Listen, <laughs> things have changed, our financial situations have changed, our family situations have changed, and, uh, you know, we can, we can do fests here and there, we can do some isolated shows and some small runs and things like that. 
we'll see what else happens. But like all goofing aside, I mean, if I was not involved in the way I was, I would be very excited about this skinless reunion. I am very excited about this skinless reunion because I mean, you can't deny, you can't deny the first two albums. Like that's my introduction. I mean, I wouldn't be doing anything I'm doing without the first two skinless albums anyway. So it's sure. foreshadowing. Or not? I mean, it's sacrifice, kinda. I mean, yeah, I guess it kind of, kind of. I mean, more miscre. I would say more miscreant than miscreant than uh, sacrifice. Yeah, awesome. yeah, that was. I would say more that, but but aside from that, and your sure. album, your album is awesome. Oh, see, Absolutely yeah. awesome. And uh -huh. yeah, so I mean, I, I can't talk. I can't talk crap about it because foreshadowing. What are you gonna do? You know, like that's that's the jam and. Wouldn't be where I was, and like without Sherwood, I wouldn't be where like Sherwood was a big influence on me as a young, young up and cover, a young buck, like watching that shit and then like, watching that, and then um, yeah, so it's good. It's a good thing, kind of, in a way. <laughs> I'm glad you're not mad at me anymore. Yeah, well, you know, this is why this is why you gotta. This is America now. This is reality TV. We gotta come to the in front of the cameras. We gotta let it all out for the there was for a the lot of tension for a little while about this situation, and I'm glad that we can. Start to get over that hump. And for the record, I haven't been asked to participate in the <laughs> this kind of reunion. I think you're doing just fine with Origin. Yeah, I mean, not that I would, but I mean, it's nice to be asked. It's nice to be wanted. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Let's bring some new skinless beef up in this interview. Let's start the new beef today. Old beef is squashed. New beef oh, begins what's now. Be the new, beef? The new beef can be. What can I be mad at? We can have like Origin skinless like. I mean, I would love. I would love for you guys like, to open who, up for who's us. Who's gonna headline? No, I'm, what do you mean? <laughs> I would love for you guys to open up. No, for us. I don't, I actually, I don't think so. But I mean, if you're gonna be playing songs, I mean, it might I mean be fun to, you're gonna to have some like ten-year-old songs. Every night, I mean, that's cool. We'll have fresh shit, no big deal. But you guys can play some. Old. I mean, I'd love to hear the optimist again. <laughs> I mean, I'd love crispy kids. I haven't heard that one in a while. It'll be a, it'll be an interesting discussion about who is the headliner of that show. That'll remember, be interesting. Remember when Origin was going to open up for us for a tour? <laughs> or did open up for Skinless back in the day? Yeah. How how the tables may have turned? May have. May yeah. have. Yeah, talk to, to my management, all right? Have you guys personally talk to my management because we don't do it ourselves anymore, but they'll open up for us. So that would be a good tour. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Um, on to real life for me. I have a, a, a super beautiful new baby, and I thought I was going to quit music because of her. Not quit because of her, but maybe you know, ramp it down so I could spend a lot of time with her. And then I realized that I want her to see me rocking out on stage. You know? That's important. It, that's very important to me because that's a big part of who I am. That I want. I, I want her to come to my concerts. Oh, my, my daughter in the front. She's only two years old, but I still want her the, at my concerts. I feel like she's almost smart enough to understand yeah. at this point too. She's kind of a super baby. Yeah, it's super baby. Pretty creepy. Yeah. You got good Kaiser. It's good Kaiser blood. And uh, I keep trying to quit, and I keep coming back. You know, I, I always, I'm always like, ah, I'm over this. I want something else, and it never sticks. I always come back every time. Interesting. Um, as for yourself, I'd like to stay on the complete opposite side of the spectrum and the fact that I kind of remain borderline homeless at all times and just scamming my way through. Like, no kids, no wife. I've been just... I don't have another job at this point. I somehow survive. I'm not sure, but I've never really struggled. So, yeah, I'm just... You live okay, comfortably. I've been scamming my way through the past at least six or seven years. <laughs> and music thing's good. I mean... A couple, you know, for every once in a while, like next year I'll be on the road probably all year long. Uh, halfway decent living in that, I mean, surviving. But yeah, I try to, the other side where I don't, I'm not locked down, I'm not stuck with anything. And, I don't know. I've just recently been a college graduate, recently. But you were studying, is that right? I was. I'm an anthropologist now, officially, which means I'm still borderline homeless and scamming my way through life for the next whatever couple of years, but it was fun. And yeah, so. I could tell you all about the Inuits. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> you got that going for I you got anyway. That. You can talk about Game of Thrones all day long. I can I'm tell sorry. you about Game of Thrones, you know, because <laughs> the secret is, is that Jon Snow is secretly a Targaryen son and his sister to Daenerys. It's not that kid that they're saying is from Dorne. No. It's not, there's like another prince coming in and then a new book. It's gonna be Jon Snow. I'm just telling you, uh, Ice and Fire, it's Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen, their brother and sister, and they're gonna end up banging. Cause that's what they do. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, it's not. It's far removed from skinless. It's a uh, kind of has like a stoner rock kind of edge. Um, really doomy. 
but also a little rocky and just, uh, yeah, we're playing tonight. Your latest album's actually uh, pretty damn heavy, by far your best album yet. I would agree with that, that would, uh, definitely one. Um, what are your ambitions with this uh, record? I mean, it's been out for a little while, so um, independently released? Independently released. Uh, everything we do is just independent. We're just, you know, we just want to, we're dudes that want to rock out, you know, we're just rocking out. Yeah. Just writing heavy tunes and, you know, that's old story. I mean, I heard the record, I thought COC. I thought down. Um, you know, I thought. That's, that's great comparisons. I mean, I couldn't. That's. I thought. I always like well, to think acid bath is like a good comparison. Like a little bit heavier acid bath these days. You know. Apparently, section eight's back together for <laughs> to an extent. <laughs> oh, a little that's, bit. <laughs> that's not an official comment on the record that I could make at this point. <laughs> I could not officially make that statement. Because I mean, there are some people who who would start jumping off buildings if they heard that to be the people case. People might jump off buildings if they heard that. Yeah. So I can't officially say that yeah. it's going to happen. People might jump it, off buildings. Coming up this <laughs> this January, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But yeah. Um, I can't officially. Make it. The future of Gunther Weasel. This album is so amazing. I mean, it'd be great to see the band continue for another, you know. Um, we're writing, you know. We're writing. We're sending out press kits to people. And uh, like I said, we're, you know, the situation that we're in, I don't know that we could do a lot of touring way that you know skinless has toured in the past for example but um we're, we're doing you know we're doing what we can do with what we got and we're trying to rock out as hard as we can really that's mm. it um <laughs> that's it that's all i gotta say about what you lose i mean we may there may or not may not be correlation between the the gunther the gunther initiative and the wicked leaks he may be in moscow may or may not be because of certain accusations made by one casey door he may not be in hiding but let's just say he said too much. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. How about, <laughs> are you guys believers in God? I don't. I don't, <laughs> no, I don't, Jesus. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think I believe. I believe. What do I believe? Uh, Jesus was alive or something, right? I believe that. I like Game oh, of Thrones. Oh, yeah, Game of Thrones <laughs> and then... Um, Holy Grail. Yeah, yeah the Holy Grail. Yeah, I believe in that. That would be cool. Okay. All right. Wait, the Indiana Jones, yeah, Indiana Holy, Jones Grail, one. Yeah, yeah. Holy Grail or Monty Python Holy Grail? They're both pretty good. Shot of Turn. And uh, uh, yeah, I got one yeah, in my bathroom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then when Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, I believe in that. Oh yeah, I'm into the Far East mysticism myself. Oh, that was cool. Can't betray Shiva. Cannot betray Shiva. I built my daughter a rickety bridge in my backyard, based on the Temple of Doom. <laughs> so. That shows I'm a believer right there. That's devotion. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. Big ups to Brooklyn. Uh, Yo, check out that new comic, Arson. <laughs> it's got, uh, who's in comic, Arson? Oh, it's got uh, Chris Form Mahar. Form <laughs> also unceremoniously ex skinless. <laughs> street sweeper. Uh, 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 Grant Matat, formerly a street sweeper, guitar player for comic, Arson. Ceremoniously ex -sweeper. Ceremoniously ex street sweeper. Uh, and uh, uh, Dustin, Dustin Rose, Rose. from uh, Assault on Living, formerly of Organ Harvest. Traumacide, way back. Traumacide, way yep, back. Traumacide. So yeah, check out Comic Arson. Relentless, brutal, black death metal. They're awesome. Okay. There's um, also, coming soon, Krator, Top Secret, John Longstreth, Jason Kaiser. Totally Top Secret. Other members of Tentacles Project. Oh, really? And check out Tentacles. And the, 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 oh, the best local band that should be a real band, but they're really just a local band. But they could be a real band. But they're not. They're just local New Origin, 2014, Nuclear Blast Records. Okay. But more in the real world. That's true, yeah. You'll get beat up a lot more with New York Hardcore. You don't so, get beat up too much in Brutal Death Metal. No. But ironically, ironically enough, the spectrum is all skewed. As brutal as it is, yeah. it's confusing. Yeah, it's not really that. I mean, like the people are really nice in Brutal Death <laughs> Metal scene, you know? People want, like, New York, you know, people get stabbed. They stab their bandmates and all kinds of shit goes down. So, yeah, that's more. Tough, I guess, because it's like tough to survive because you get stabbed by your brute bandmates. Yeah. Um, I believe you're referring to a band in particular. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to start any, but not, not, nothing like that. I'm just saying. Allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, you know, uh, Rick to life, he's pretty tough. <laughs> Allegedly. That's like the toughest shit. Come and go wrecked. What's here for the uh, 10 for 10 show a number of years ago okay. and the VOD headline? It was their first show here in years, I believe. 
and uh, massive brawl spilled onto the parking lot of this mall right here. Yeah, that sounds about right. And it was uh, quite the event. Well, you'll, you'll remember too that several years ago, one of our favorite, one of my favorite local joints was featured on the, the History Channel's show uh, Gangland. Uh, Gangland. The, uh, yeah. the Hudson Duster in Troy, New yeah. York was, I, I love that place. That was great. And yeah, yeah, that was on Gangland. Somebody got beat yeah. to death yeah, that during was a, a Street Sweeper concert. During a Street Sweeper concert. Really? So, yeah. yeah, it's on. It's and on, 25 to Live. And 25 to Live, yeah. yeah. It's on cable. You yeah. can check it out. Yeah, you can check that out. So yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I don't remember any New York City band, any New York City clubs being on that particular program. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, so. So what do you think about these old bands from the 90s, these amazing bands that we all grew up with, all seem to come back around 2013-ish. So VOD, new record, dropped, awesome. Stigmata playing shows again, possibly Section 8, Skinless, Wartime Manor. Oh, he knows about everything. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. I mean... <laughs> well, this is all alleged, everything you're saying about it. Yeah. With all Stan, at war. Allegedly. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Wait, who's with Stan? <laughs> Legendary stabbings. Uh, so, what do you think it is? How long do you think this, I guess, revival will last? Why is it all happening at the same time, you think? Because on the block came back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I think it's a, a sign of the coming apocalypse. That's all it can be. But They're it's like, not even about, you know what it's about, actually? It's not about the reuniting. It's about the new kids. It's about the young bands. It's about the second generation hardcore bands with Hold It Down, who is Correct. sons of former From Flat Broke. State. Yeah, sons yeah. of Flat Broke. Flat Broke's who kids are, are now. Formed their own band. Their own band. So it's kind of like progressing into the, into the future. Yeah. So. What it's more about than most definitely and reflecting. It's about the new, Move the next, literally the next generation, not like new kids coming in, but like the children of these bands all grown up. That's great. Yeah. So upstate bloodline continues. Clifton Park, Troy, Albany, baby boy, all grown up. They're all grown up. They're all grown up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Us in origin together. And what? Who's headlining? Uh... Co-headlining. We, we don't, we co don't do that co nonsense. I don't play, even know what that means. Playing at the same time, like Melvin's two drummers. Yeah. Have John and yeah, Bob yeah. playing at the same time. Can we get can we get every member of every skinless, unceremonious skinless <laughs> excommunication tour? The unceremonious skinless excommunication tour. It'll be Perfect. skinless origin because John and me already. Comic Arson. <laughs> yeah, Chris Bard, <laughs> dehumanized. <laughs> and yeah, that'll be pretty oh, good. Oh boy. Sounds great. 20, 20, 20, <laughs> 15. Let's, let's make it, let's make it official. 